Hello everyone and welcome to Integra Southwest Medical Center Project Search Open House. Above me are my awesome interns for this year and throughout the film you may see photos of them as well. Um, this slideshow is made because it is recruitment time for Project Search. So after this intro I will talk to you about Project Search, what it is, what the program's about and how you get into the program as well as what the program can do for you. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, what is Project Search? It is a career exploration model for young adults with disabilities. It was formed at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. Basically, the simplest way to explain it, I think, is it is a job training program for seniors with disabilities. The goal for Project Search is to achieve competitive employment for young adults with disabilities. And this happens toward the end of the program when you have completed some of your rotations as well as gained some really good job skills. Program information. Project Search is a nine month non-paid internship program. It follows the Oklahoma City Public School calendar. During the year, you will participate in three 10 week rotations at Integra Southwest. Interns will work directly in the department that is chosen for them. They will receive individualized instruction from the program instructor job coaches, and business mentors. We also have class time. In the morning, we spend about an hour and we talk about soft skills, resumes, interviewing, and things like that. In the afternoon, we talk about the events of the day, what happened at work. Um, toward the end of the program, we start job development which is job searching. Eligibility guidelines. Who should participate in Project Search? Well, you need to be a person with a desire and ability to work independently and become employed. You need to be between the ages of 18 and 22 years old. You must be a high school senior. You must meet requirements for vote rehab. You need to have the ability to take direction or instruction. And then you must have the willingness to change behavior and that would be behavior that is inappropriate to the workplace. You must pass a drug screen, background check, and immunization requirements. You must have transportation or be willing to work toward independent transportation. You need to have an Oklahoma State ID or a driver's license. And you must be willing to participate in a non-paid internship program. Okay, here's some more good stuff. This is a selection process. Candidates submit a completed application online by February the 12th of this year. It's very simple. If you need assistance with it, we can help or we will find help for you. Um, candidates must be eligible to receive voc rehab through DRS. And that's something that we've talked about before. If you do not know, we can, we can help you figure that out. Um, candidates must also be willing and able to work independently in the community upon completion of the program. And then applications are reviewed for completion, relevance, and eligibility. Um, we will interview all the candidates on the week of February 22nd. The parents are interviewed as well. And then there's a short skills assessment. Nothing to be nervous about. It's just to check to see where your skills are at. Program partners, that is the group of people that make Project Search so successful. 
We have Oklahoma City Public Schools, Integra Southwest Medical Center, which is the host business, OU Outreach, Oklahoma Department of Rehab Services, and Del Rogers Training Center. It takes a village, but it's uh, an awesome group to be a part of. Pay close attention to this slide. Hopefully it will ease the minds of students, parents, and staff. These are our COVID-19 precautions that we follow in Project Search. We always wear masks and wash hands several times a day. We take daily temperature checks. There is continuous sanitizing within the hospital environment and interns have no patient contact. I feel like we've done a good job we have had no interns become ill with COVID-19 this year. We're going to shift gears here for the next couple of slides. I'm going to show you some interns from previous years in their work experiences. From left to right, I have Yenner in food service, Calvin in waste management, and Job in registration. I forgot to say that some of these guys may look familiar to you. Uh, from left to right on this slide, we have Jacob in Jim Thorpe in patient, Robert in the emergency department, Samari in housekeeping, and Carson in patient escort. Okay, now we're gonna talk about our current interns in Project Search. This is Aaliyah. She is doing a rotation in food service. Most of her job is cleaning, sanitizing, restocking, and just keeping things organized in the cafeteria. This is Prem, and he is doing a rotation in the emergency department. He is making blood kits for doctors and nurses to use in the ER, as well as cleaning and sanitizing chairs and stocking gowns and supplies. This is Jamie is and he is doing a rotation in materials management. It is probably the busiest and most difficult uh, rotation we have here at Integra Southwest. They deal with all the supplies that come in and go to the different floors of the hospital. So you do receiving, stocking, and delivery. This is Nathaniel and he is working in environmental services at Integra Southwest. Now that covers a lot of areas. At times you will be doing waste management. You will also be cleaning and sanitizing. You may do linens and um, a lot of different jobs throughout the hospital are involved in environmental services. This is Bree and she is doing an internship in radiology. She is responsible for stocking as well as cleaning and sanitizing different areas throughout the radiology department. Okay, this is the last slide. It's things to remember. First of all, Project Search is a great program for individuals who are needing job skills. So fill out those applications if you're interested. They are due by February the 12th. Your teachers and transition specialists will have more information about how to fill out the application and who to send it to and things like that. Um, thank you for your time and I'm looking forward to seeing some of you in our program next year. Bye bye.